As a woman who wears the niqab, how could she react when she's in an airport and she's ordered to take the veil off to be identified? Scholars said from a very long time that the face is one of the means of identification that can be temporarily uncovered for this purpose. Now you can uncover your face if you're going to the physician and he needs to examine your face. You can take it off if you are even in the market buying and selling from a salesman who needs to identify you so that when you come after a couple of days to return the product, he said, I don't know. I don't know if she's the one who took it or not. So such transactions may require that you identify yourself by unveiling. But these are rare incidents. So in an airport, yes, definitely, when you come to the customs officer to check your passport, whether you are that individual or not, then you're permitted to unveil your face so that he can compare it to the photo in your passport. Likewise, when being admitted to college, you need to submit your photo. When you're making your ID, you need to submit your photo ID. When you um, apply for a driver's license or a passport, etc. Now, when it comes to college, if, I go, if a woman goes to college and the authorities mandate that she uncovers her face, and she believes that covering the face is mandatory in Islam, it is not permissible for her to uncover her face all the time in front of students and teachers for no reason. This is not to identify her. This is to humiliate her. And this is not permissible. Likewise, uh, uh, on online lectures, if it's the professor who's doing the examination and he needs to identify that she is X, Y, Z, and she unveils it so he sees it and then things go on, no problem. But if it's a Zoom class with 30 students, males and females, and he orders her to take it off all the time, she should not attend and she should quit.